Hello, I'm Anika from Made to Sew, and welcome to my small bust adjustment tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do an SBA on a bodice that has a waist dart and a side dart. Now, if this is your first time doing an SBA, I recommend that you watch my original SBA tutorial that has one side dart. In that video, I go through the process of an SBA in more detail, and I just discuss when and how much you should be removing from the pattern. This video is much quicker, and the idea is to simply show you what you need to do if you have a waist dart and a side dart. So grab the pattern that you're working with, and we can begin. So I've drawn out a bodice pattern here for you that has got a side dart and a waist dart and a waist seam. Now, feel free to draw out a pattern the same, because it is good practice to have another go at doing an SBA. Alternatively, you may have a pattern that has got darts like this that you want to actually do a small bust adjustment to. So, the first step is going to be to draw the lines. Just like with the standard small bust adjustment, you're going to draw a line from the bust apex down to the waist. Most of the time, this will be through the center of the waist dart. You're going to draw a line from the bust apex to the notch at the armhole or to a point that is approximately one third of the armhole, and another line from the center of the side dart through the point to the bust apex. If you have a seam allowance at the armhole, you're also going to want to mark this on. Then you can grab a pair of scissors and you're going to cut up the bottom from the waist up to the bust point, through the bust point, or bust apex and towards the armhole. You're going to stop at the stitching line. You're also going to cut up through the side darts to the bust apex but not through the bust apex and also you're going to cut from the armhole through to the stitching line if your pattern has seam allowances on it. If it doesn't, then you would simply cut from the bust apex to the armhole and leave a hinge at the armhole. Then you're going to want to decide on the amount of small bust adjustment that you want to do. If you're unsure about this, then I recommend that you do watch my other small bust adjustment tutorials when I discuss this in greater detail. You are going to want to bring the line that you cut on the left hand side here up to sit onto that dotted red line. In order for you to keep this line on the red line and parallel to the centre front, you are going to need to pivot at the armhole and close the dart, just like so. Now, by doing this, the side piece is now shorter than the centre front piece. So, we're also going to need to draw another line at a right angle to the centre front and it can really be anywhere along this front edge. You'll also cut along this line. Then, when you bring the side piece across, pivoting at the armhole, and position the center of that dart onto the dotted line, overlapping the side dart, you will also be able to slot this piece underneath, matching up a straight edge at the centre front and at the hem. Tape everything in position. Now everything is taped down, you have officially completed your small bust adjustment. We need to finalise the position of the darts. Now, your bust apex has moved when you've done a small bust adjustment. This is now the position of the bust apex. It has been raised and moved closer towards the centre front. This may or may not be in the correct position for you. Therefore, I would always recommend creating a sample garment when you do a small bust adjustment to check the amount that you've removed from the pattern is correct and that the darts, if there are any left, are in the right location for your bust. Now let's look at the side dart first and you should be able to see here that there is a small amount of side dart remaining, the difference between the two black lines. Please ignore this little extra bit of paper sticking out on the edge here. That was from the truing of the old dart. We will retrue this dart in a second. 
Now, for a simple fix, when you first created your small bust adjustment, I would recommend drawing in the old dart leg to the dart point as it currently exists. Now, the dart point or the position of the dart point may or may not be in the right place for your bust, depending on the location of your bust apex. Now, the dart point needs to point towards the bust apex, but how close it needs to be from the bust apex depends on your individual bust. Generally speaking, the smaller the bust, the closer it can be, the larger the bust, the further away the dart point should be from the bust apex. But that isn't always a hard and fast rule. It does depend on the shape of your bust. So as a starting point, I would recommend redrawing in the dart and trying that in a sample garment. So that is my new side dart, which does need to be trued. Let's take a look at the waist dart. Now, if we peel back this paper, we can see that we have used up about half of the waist dart volume by completing a small bust adjustment. The vertical green line is now sitting on top of the other waist dart leg. Now, presuming that the waist of the pattern fits you as it is, we are going to need to redraw the waist dart. So, what I would like to do here is I'd like to position the waist dart centrally underneath the bust apex. We are going to presume now, because we don't know any different, that this is the position of your bust apex. You are welcome to move this, plot your bust apex onto the pattern, whatever works for you once you've done a sample garment. But for now, we're going to presume that that is the bust apex. Therefore, we would like to center this waist dart underneath the bust apex. So the central line of the dart is going to be that green line that we cut up. I'm going to measure the width of the dart as it now stands. And it's 1.78 centimeters, approximately three quarters of an inch. Now we're going to distribute it either side of that green line so that the bulk of the dart is distributed evenly either side of that green line. And I'm going to plot a point on either side and then I will simply reconnect my dart legs from the base at the waist up to the dart point. And we're going to stick with the original dart point for this example until you have time to check the fit. So the red lines are the new dart lines at the waist and the black line for the waist dart is going to be ignored. You'll finally need to true both the waist dart and the side dart and then I would make a test garment, check that the bust apex is in the right place for you and that both the waist dart and the side dart are finishing in the right place for your individual bust and bust apex. Generally speaking, by completing a small bust adjustment, you will find that the darts decrease in size and this generally works better for small busts. Sometimes you may find, if you have to do a large SBA, that you actually remove the darts altogether from the waist and from the side seam and that is absolutely fine. You may find that that works best for your individual shape. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you now feel more confident doing an SBA on a pattern that has a side dart and a waist dart. Thanks for watching and see you soon.